H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Next, we will see the, the Selenium Grid, which is the third tool present in the Selenium 1.0 web uh, version. So this is the third suit. Uh, this is the third tool of this particular suit that is Selenium 1.0 web, and this basically is also a server by itself. It's a server API by itself. So we need to be, as I have told you, we need to download this and configure it. Coming back to as far as parallel testing is concerned, so we have seen that we can do parallel testing with Selenium Grid. That means I can create a single script or I can create thousands of scripts. So let's say I want to basically run these thousand scripts in one system or in one computer. It will take a lot of time. How about, how about I distribute these thousand test scripts over four different computers? So obviously the time taken to execute these thousand scripts in four different com computers will be one fourth of what has been taken by a single computer executing thousand test, test scripts. So Selenium Grid helps us in doing parallel testing. Now we can also see the Selenium Grid. That means in 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 the long run, it also does your cross browser testing. Because if I am able to do parallel testing, which involves running the thousand scripts in different computers, let's say four computers, I can also involve Selenium Grid to run the thousand scripts over different browsers which are scattered over different computers so that's part precisely also conducting parallel testing through different browsers so i can say in other words that i can conduct cross browser testing also through selenium grid using the parallel approach so that means there are two aspects of it one is that thousand test scripts distributed over four different computers the execution time will be one fourth of running the same thousand scripts in one system that's called parallel testing other aspect of parallel testing i can distribute the thousand test scripts over four different computers having four different browsers now that's precisely carrying out cross browser testing in a distributed approach or in a parallel approach so that also is possible with selenium grid so that is what i have tried to explain it out here running the same scripts or test suits across different browsers spread across the hub node architecture so you have a hub out here if you see the diagram we have a hub out here the hub is configured as a selenium grid and the hub is connected with the nodes each node can have its own configuration or each node can have the same configuration and we can distribute the test suits or the test scripts through these nodes in order to conduct parallel testing so we'll look at it at a different point of time but yes the next point says about run independent or dependent test scripts test suits across different browsers configuration spread in a hub node architecture so that's about your selenium grid all about moving forward we're going to see the selenium 2.0 web version now selenium 2.0 web version was launched in 2009 rather sorry and it was launched by merging the selenium rc and the selenium web driver project together so selenium 2.0 was actually a combination of selenium rc merged with selenium web driver apart from selenium web driver as one of the tools present in 2.0 web version it also contained selenium IDE and selenium grid that means selenium 2.0 web retained selenium IDE and selenium grid from 1.0 web version the only thing that was different in selenium 2.0 web was selenium web driver which which was replaced in place of selenium rc coming back to the next point why was selenium rc replaced with selenium web driver in 2.0 web version 
Now that was basically because of the drawbacks of Selenium RC, and we have discussed about the drawbacks of Selenium RC. Okay, so we will see the drawbacks. Now this is the symbol of your Selenium web driver. We can see with the tick mark, the green tick mark out here. Okay, the next slide tells about the differences between Selenium RC and Selenium web driver, and through this we can understand why in 2.0 web version. Selenium RC was replaced by Selenium web driver as a whole. The first difference, Selenium RC was a weak API, whereas Selenium web driver is a strong API. Stronger API means lot of methods, lot of classes, lot of interfaces. If you have lot of methods, classes and interfaces in a stronger API, the coding structure becomes easy and the number of codes are less. So that becomes a kind of advantage for people who are actually moving from manual testing towards automation or people who are learning automation for the first time. The next point of difference is in Selenium RC, we can run scripts of Selenium ID after conversion. So you can convert the Selenium ID scripts, then we can run it in Selenium RC, which you have discussed earlier. Selenium WebDriver retained that. So you can also run your Selenium ID scripts in selenium web driver the third you know kind of you know differences between selenium rc and web driver is management of xss test suits in, in selenium rc was a problem whereas if you consider in selenium web driver the manager of test suits is a cakewalk you can have as much as number of test suits and it can be possible to manage those test suits easily with selenium web driver the fourth difference is Selenium RC did not support any third party API or softwares. Whereas Selenium Web Driver supports third party API softwares. For example, I will, I will be able to configure third party APIs like Apache POI or Log4j API or Test NG API with Selenium Web Driver, which is not possible with Selenium RC. The fifth difference is the process of starting the RC server. So as we have discussed, we in order to use our RC, we have to first start the RC server. In web driver, there is no concept of starting any server. So the major pain area was the misfiring of the RC server in Selenium RC. And most of the time, the Selenium RC server used to misfire. And that created a lot of havoc within companies who were using RC for automation purpose. Since this kind of approach was absolutely removed in Selenium web driver, that removed the absolute pain area which was present in RC. We don't have any concept of server or starting of servers in Selenium, Selenium web driver. Next point of difference, as we have discussed, server misfired most of the times in Selenium RC. Whereas in Selenium web driver, since there is no server, there is no misfiring. Looking at the seventh difference, the RC, as we have discussed earlier, it uses the command line prompt. So in order to start the RC server, we have to fire commands to the command line prompt. In order to run the same script over different browsers, we have individual command which needs to be fired with the command line prompt. Since Selenium web driver does not use any command line prompt, it does not have the concept of firing commands. Next is, obviously we have discussed there is no command line usage in Selenium web driver. We have to use command in your Selenium RC. Next difference is report generation. RC generated reports but they were not liked by technical guys. Selenium RC did not generate any manager reports. With Selenium web driver, we will be we are able to generate both technical reports and managerial reports. Managerial reports are basically very jazzy kind of reports which are at the macro level. And manager reports are needed to look at the health of the particular project. So since this kind of differences makes Selenium web driver advantages over Selenium RC, that is why Selenium web drivers was replaced in 2.0 with Selenium RC. 
the last difference is the the forward compatibility we cannot run selenium web driver scripts in selenium rc but we can run selenium rc scripts in selenium web driver <clears throat> so that's precisely the difference between the rc tool or the web driver tool as a whole <coughs> sorry for that <coughs> now we'll see in the next session we are going to see see a small demo on selenium id i hope i am i'm clear with the discussions what we had regarding history of selenium it was necessary for me to create uh, the this video at a stretch i know it's a long video by itself but if i have not created this long video we would have not understood the dependencies of selenium 1.0 over selenium 2.0 and why did why did selenium 2.0 came into existence so that is why the deal was to create a single video to define the history of selenium I, and that was the reason to not I, I did not actually plan to revive it thanks very much for understanding and thanks very much for watching this video uh, Hope you have liked this particular video. Thanks very much. We'll see you in the next session. Thank you.